Today we're tackling an urgent issue, the obscene prices of GLP-1 medications like Zepbound, Ozempic, Wagovi, and Manjaro. Early this week, President Biden and Senator Bernie Sanders wrote an op-ed in, in USA Today addressing this critical problem. Stick around to learn more about their take and why we must make these life-changing medications affordable for everyone. Hey everyone, I'm Christopher Durham here from The Downsized. We're the go-to channel for all things related to weight loss with GLP-1 medications. Like the list I said earlier, Ozempic, Wagovi, Zipbound, you name it, we're talking about it. Before diving into today's topic of drug prices, I want to share my personal Personal journey with you. Since September 29th, 2024, I've lost 70 pounds using GLP-1 medications, including Zepbound, Manjaro, and compounded terzepatide. These medications have dramatically changed and improved my life and my health. They have helped me lower my high blood pressure and cholesterol and my snoring and sleep apnea and improve my overall health and fitness. This transformation is why I'm so passionate about making these medications accessible to everyone. Please take a moment, like, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our latest videos and join our community advocating for better health and more accessible medications for obesity. I also want to challenge downsized viewers. This is our community, and we will not allow the conversation in the comments to devolve into political chaos. Any comments that are unkind, disrespectful, or mean will be deleted. This discussion is an opportunity to discuss GLP-1s, not a slippery political slope. Let's keep the focus on making these life-changing medications affordable and accessible. Early this week, President Biden and Senator Bernie Sanders published an op-ed in USA Today addressing the high cost of weight loss medications produced by Nova Nordisk and Eli Lilly. As we know, these medications can be life-changing, but their high prices put them out of reach for many Americans. In 2023, Americans were paying 10 times more for Ozempic compared to patients in the UK who paid $936 per month versus $93. Meanwhile, Wagovi cost $1,349 a month in the US, but only $296 in the Netherlands. The stark contrast in prices has drawn the attention of Senator Bernie Sanders, and now he and the president are talking about it. This isn't, of course, the first time we've talked about Bernie. He has been out fighting for health care for a while now. He's a staunch critic of the pharmaceutical industry who is now focusing on the exorbitant costs of these transformative medications. As chairman of the Senate Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee, or they call it the HELP Committee, Sanders is preparing to take action. Sanders emphasized the significance of Ozempic and Wagovi as potentially among the best-selling pharmaceutical products in history, vital for treating diabetes and obesity. He is gearing up to confront Lars Furgar Jorgensen, CEO of Novo Nordisk, the Danish pharmaceutical company behind both drugs. Under the threat of subpoena, Jorgensen has agreed to testify before Sanders' committee in September. Acknowledging the uphill battle ahead, Sanders remarked, you're taking on a company which will make billions of dollars every single year, many billions from the U.S. on just this product. So do I think this is going to be a difficult challenge? Why, yes, I do. In their op-ed, Biden and Sanders highlighted a stark reality. The pair wrote, it is most certainly not Americans' patriotic duty to pay high drug prices at home so others abroad can enjoy the fair prices that every American is entitled to. This sentiment resonates deeply with many of us who have seen firsthand the impact these high costs can have on our health and on our finances. So let's take a closer look. The significant disparity in drug pricing is a major issue. This is a big deal, guys. Novo Nordisk, Ozempic, and Wagovi, and Eli Lilly's Manjaro and Zepbound are priced significantly higher in the U.S. than any other country. This isn't just a minor difference. It's a massive financial burden that many Americans simply cannot shoulder. The pair stated, the prices of Ozempic and Wagovi can be up to six times higher than prices in Canada, Germany, Denmark, and other major countries. That's unacceptable. The reality is that these high costs are not sustainable. If half of U.S. adults with obesity took drugs like Wagovi or Zepbound, it would cost $411 billion per year, more than what Americans spent on all prescription drugs in 2022. Biden and Sanders warned, if the prices of these drugs are not substantially reduced, they have the potential to bankrupt the American health care system. So why does this matter? Well, Lorraine and I know the importance of the medications. They have changed our lives, and they can change the lives of millions of people who have the disease of obesity. 
but only if they can afford them. The high cost of GLP-1 medications like Zepbound, Manjaro, Ozempic, and Wagovi is not just a personal issue. It's a public health crisis. We need these affordable medications so everyone can benefit from their incredible potential. Biden and Sanders also addressed the broader implications of these high drug prices. If just half of all Medicare and Medicaid beneficiaries who are obese took these drugs, Medicare and Medicaid could spend $166 billion per year. It's simply not justifiable or, or sustainable. What they said is this is not morally responsible or physically responsible. The pharmaceutical industry's role in this is huge. They often justify high prices by pointing to research and development costs. However, Biden and Sanders challenge this narrative by highlighting these companies' massive profits. In 2023, for example, Novo Nordisk made over $12 billion in profits, in part by charging Americans over $1,000 a month for prescription drugs that can profitably be manufactured for less than $5. That is not making a responsible return on investment. That is price gouging. That is corporate greed. So what are we doing? We're calling for fair pricing. The scientists at Novo Nordisk and Eli Lilly deserve great credit for developing these powerful medications. It's certainly life-changing. However, as Biden and Sanders point out, these drugs will not benefit the millions of patients who cannot afford them. They say, moreover, if the prices of these drugs are not substantially reduced, they can bankrupt the American health care system. This is our fight for lower prices, right? The entire GLP-1, our entire downsized community. So what can we do? Well, we can support efforts to lower drug prices and ensure that these life-changing, life-saving medications are accessible to all. We can raise our voices and demand that pharmaceutical companies stop prioritizing extreme profit over people. Novo Nordisk and Eli Lilly must recognize that their pricing strategies are unsustainable. As Biden and Sanders stated, it's time for these companies to lower their prices and make these life-saving medications accessible to all. The benefits of GLP-1s are undeniable. They have helped me manage my weight and improve my overall health. However, I am acutely aware of how fortunate I am to have these medications, and to have access and to be able to afford them. Many are not as lucky. This fight is not just about policy. It's about people. Real people who need these medications to live healthier, happier lives. To wrap my diatribe up, the fight for affordable obesity drug prices is far from over. Efforts to expand the benefits of legislation and negotiating drug prices are crucial steps in the right direction. But let's be clear, it's not just about government action. It's about demanding that pharmaceutical companies stop ripping off the American people. Lorraine and I will continue to advocate for affordable, accessible care for anyone who suffers from the disease of obesity. It's important. We will keep you updated on the latest developments and share ways you can get involved in this crucial fight. I'm Christopher Durham. And this is The Downsized. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and let's keep pushing for change. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on our GLP-1 weight loss adventure. Thank you very much.